let's take a look at decimals. Decimals are really important um, in maths. So we have this number here, 12, and we have here the dot, and that is called our decimal point. And this number here, the way we read this is 12.32. Now, a lot of people that I've tutored in the past will read this as 12.32, but after the decimal point, you should read the numbers individually. So this is 12.32, not 12.32. So what this means is uh, 12 is a whole number and the 0.32 is just, I guess, a little bit extra. So if we have a look at our number line here, we've got 0, 1, 2, and 3. What we can do, we can break numbers down into even smaller parts. Um, and what we're doing here is we are looking at tenths. Now the first digit, if, if I've got the number 14.3, then the 3, this 3 here, that represents 3 tenths. If I've got the number 14.56, uh, we have here 5 tenths, and here we have 6 hundredths. So the first column is our tenths column, and the next column is our one hundredths column. The next column would be the thousandths column, the next column across would be our ten thousandths, etc. So as we go into the right, each column is getting ten times smaller. But you'll probably only be dealing with decimals that have tenths, maybe hundredths. So in tenths, we're going to go between 0 and 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0 0.9. So you can see that 0 0.9, that is quite close to 1. Here's 1, so going up in tenths, we have 1.1, which is very close to 1, then 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1.5. Now 1.5 is exactly halfway between 1 and 2. 0.5 means a half. So here is 1, 1 and a half, 2. So remember that a 0.5 is the same as a half. Here we've got 1.9 marked, so that's just less than 2. After 2 we've got 2.1 and again 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, otherwise known as 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, then 3. Now we have decimals a lot in money and measuring. Um, so this is £7.85, or a very strange way of saying it would be £7.85. Um, and so what we have here is 7 full pounds, 8 tenths of a pound, and 5 hundredths of a pound. But we don't even need to think of um, anything as complicated as that. We're familiar with prices. We know that that it represents seven pounds and 85 pence. If you were to convert this amount into pence, then all we need to do is 7.85 multiplied by 100 because there are 100 pence in a pound. And that comes to 785 pence. Four pounds 60. Again, that's four pounds and six tenths of a pound and zero hundredths of a pound. Again, we don't even think of these things because we just know that four pounds 60 is four pounds and 60 pence. Or in pence, four pounds 60 multiplied by 100, which is 460 pence. Uh, you wouldn't write it as 4.6, and that is this has the same value as 4.60. When with money, we always include uh, two decimal places after the decimal point. So if your calculator gives you the answer 4.6, then you need to remember that if you're writing that as a price, that you would write that as 4.60, £4.60. You also see decimals a lot uh, in measurements. So here we have 3.62. Again, note how I'm saying 62 rather than 62. 3.62 metres, that is 3 metres and 62 centimeters, otherwise known as 362 centimeters. If you want to convert meters into centimeters, then just multiply this number by 100 because there's 100 centimeters in a meter. 3.3 meters, well that is three full meters and then three tenths of a meter. So what this means is not three meters and three centimeters, but three meters and 30 centimeters. We could write 3.3 as 3.30. 3.30 is the same as 3.3. In fact, 
3.30 is the same as 3.3, which is the same as 3.300. In fact, it doesn't matter how many zeros we put on the end, this, these are all the same value, uh, but these zeros can be ignored. But when we're writing, uh, the difference between money is that when we're writing pounds and pence, we would definitely always include two decimal places, but with measurements, we can say 3.3 meters but we just need to remember that that is three meters and 30 centimeters and not three meters and three centimeters because three meters and three centimeters would be 3.03. And again, if we want to convert this into centimeters, then we just need to multiply 3.3 by 100 because there's 100 centimeters in a meter. 3.3 times 100 is 330 centimeters.